In this video, we're going to be using Sonic Pi to code ourselves a little nursery rhyme, which is a Mary had a little lamb. We're going to add a few special effects in the background too, just to jazz it up a little. This is what it's going to sound like. There we go, so a bit of a dramatic ending there, probably unnecessary, but we'll throw it in anyway, just so you get used to adding different sounds into your songs. We don't need to hear that again, so pop on over to Sonic Pi when you're ready to start, and make sure you've got yourself a blank page ready to work on. If there is some writing on there, just highlight it and delete it. Okay, now the first thing I want to put in at the top is just a comment, which is going to be the name of the song. Now remember, comments are things that the computer does not read as code. All you need to do is put in a hashtag at the start, and you can write in whatever you would like, and the computer will just ignore it. So I'm going to put in the name of the song, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay, so just remember, anything with a hashtag before it makes it a comment, which is just plain simple English that the computer ignores when it's running the code. Okay, it's just there to help us out and explain what's going on inside of the code. Now the first thing I want to do with this um, little tune is put a drum beat in the background. I always like to start with a drum beat, it just sets the basis of how your song is going to sound. So let's start with the kick drum and the snare drum. Okay, uh, what we're going to put in is a sample. And put a colon, we're going to look for the drum bass hard. Okay, so that's the bass drum we're playing with the foot. Then we're going to sleep for half a second, or half a beat there, and then we're going to sample the snare drum. Okay, so put in another sample, this time it's going to be drum underscore snare and then hard, and we'll sleep for another half second. Okay, then we're going to put in the bass drum twice. Okay, so we're going to do a sample of the drum bass hard again, but this time we're going to sleep just for 0.25, so a quarter of a beat. And then we're going to put that in again, drum bass hard, and sleep it for the same amount of time, so 0 0.25. And finally, we're going to finish off with the snare drum again. So let's just sample the drum snare hard, and we're going to sleep for half a second at the end of that. All right, let's just have a listen and see how that sounds. Sweet, sounding good. Now we want to loop this over and over again. So I could copy and paste that code over and over again, but that would make my code extremely long. And we don't want to do that. We want to try and save time and space in our code here. So what we're going to do is use a loop. So to make a loop, you just need to tell the computer how many times you want to loop a section of code. So I'm going to repeat it eight times here. So I'll write in eight dot times. And then you simply write the word do after it. And then after the word do, you just tell the computer what you want to do inside of this loop. And at the very end, write in the word end. And that ends our loop off. Okay, so what it does is plays the uh, bass drum, the snare drum, the bass, the bass, and the snare drum. Gets to the end, then goes back to the start, and does it all over again. And it does that eight times. So just listen now, and you'll hear the drum beat repeat. You get the idea. It's going to go on eight times before it stops. All right. Um, also, with this drum beat, we want to have the hi hat cymbals playing as well. So let's put the hi hats in. Okay, so the hi hats are going to be sampling the sound drum underscore cymbal underscore closed. And we're going to sleep it for 0 0.25 of a beat. I'm just going to copy that now. Paste it in three more times, so we've got that four times in total. All right, um, just at the end there, just realize you don't need this last sleep, so get rid of it. Just highlight it and delete it. Okay, uh, that's looking pretty good. Let's see if that runs nicely. All right, you might notice that you can't hear the symbol at the moment, and there is a reason for that. Okay, what Sonic Pi is trying to do is it's trying to play the bass drum and the snare drum first, and then once that's finished, it's going to come down and start to play the cymbals afterwards. 
Okay, now that's all well and good, but it's not going to sound very good for us. We want them both playing at the same time. So what we need to do is actually turn these little sections of code into threads. Okay, and with threads, we can place our sounds at the same time. Alright, so up at the very top, above the eight times loop, I'm going to put in something called in underscore thread, and then write the word do. So in this first thread, this is what we're going to do. And then after the word end, we're just going to end it again. So the first end just ends the loop, and the other end here ends this thread off. Okay, and that's the first thread. Now we need to put this second one here into a thread as well. So in underscore thread do, we're going to do the symbols, and then end it. Okay, so now we've got two threads that should play at the same time when we run it. Okay, that was definitely working, but it only plays these symbols four times, which is very short. We need to put another loop in to loop these symbols over and over again. Okay, so inside of that thread, we're going to repeat the symbols 21 times. So I want you to do 21 dot times, and then do. Okay, and it's going to do these four lines, or four sections of code there, 21 times. And make sure you end it at the bottom there. Okay, so the first bit there is the loop. We do that 21 times, and we've also got it inside of a thread. So it plays at the same time as the bass drum and the snare drum. Okay, if you haven't listened to that, you should hear it sounding pretty sweet. Alright, so we've got a nice little drum beat. Um, I might put in some comments here just to explain what's going on. So above the first thread, I'm just going to put in um, kick and snare drums. And this second thread here, I'm going to put another hashtag in, so another comment, and just write, um, I'll put hi-hat symbol. Okay, and that's just going to help clear up our code and explain what's going on um, for those that are reading our code. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a little bit of background noise, like a bit of a hum in the background. Um, so I'm going to put in another comment. Let's write background noise. And after background noise there, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new thread so that this background noise plays at the same time as our drums. So we'll write in underscore thread and do. And what we're going to do in this thread is we're going to sample a sound. And the sound that we're going to sample is an ambient glass hum. So we're going to write ambi underscore glass underscore hum. And then we're going to simply end it. Okay, let's have a listen to what that ambient sound sounds like. Sounds all right, um, but one issue it has is that it stops too early and doesn't play for the entire track. So I'm going to put a comma after my sample ambient glass hum there, and I'm going to change the rate at which this is played, so the speed at which this song is played back at, or this, sorry, this noise is played at. If I was to have the rate set to 1, it would just play at its normal speed, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it to 0 0.5, which slows it down to half speed. So now this glass hum is going to go for twice as long as it originally did. Sweet. So that almost goes through the um, entire song nicely. One thing I might put in is just a fade in and a fade out at the start and end of this ambient song uh, sound as well. So after the rate, I'm just going to put another comma. Now to do a fade in of a sound, you need to use the word attack. Okay, it's a bit of a strange one, but we'll write the word attack and just put the 0 0.75. And then we'll put a comma. And for a fade out, we use the word release. And we'll put 0.75 for that as well. So it just starts to uh, dim the sound uh, from 1, which is its normal sound, down to 0.75, which is about 3 quarters of its usual volume. And that will probably do us for our background sound. So that just that little bit of a hum going on in the background. The last thing we need to do now is get the song playing. So the actual Mary had a little lamb song itself. Okay, so we're just going to play a whole heap of different notes. 
First thing we need to do is put in a comment, and we'll just write song, and we'll start by putting it inside a thread. So in thread do, what do we want to do? Well, first thing is we're going to sleep for one second, and then we can start playing the notes that make up this song. Okay, now to get the notes for this song, what I've done is gone online, and I found the notes for Mary Had a Little Lamb just by doing a quick Google search. So there they are there. I've got them written down in front of me, so I won't keep referring back to this. Okay, so let's get into writing this out. A little bit tedious. We'll give it a bash. Okay, so we're sleeping for one second, and then we're going to play the A note. And sleep for half a second. We'll play the G note. Sleep for half a second. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste. I might even just copy and paste this here. So I'm going to copy and paste the G one. And the next one is going to be an F. So all I need to do is just change the, the note. Uh, so it goes F and then it goes back to G. So we'll leave that as it is. Then it goes to A. And then A again. And then A again. And this last sleep here needs to go for one second. So A G F G A A A. Okay, the first sleep and the last sleep are one second. The rest of them are 0 0.5. Let's have a quick listen and see how that sounds. Oops, just forgot to put the end in from that thread. Make sure you put end in so it ends that thread. Right, sounds good. Um, a little bit slow though for my liking. So when I test this, I want to speed it up quite a bit. So up the very top here, underneath Mary had a little lamb. Let's write in use underscore BPM, which stands for beats per minute. And the beats per minute we want to use, let's go with 75. Hopefully that speeds, thing, speeds things up. Yeah, it's sounding better. All right, so let's go back into this thread here. We've got the first part of Mary Had a Little Lamb done. Let's do the second part. Okay, so the next part, I'm just going to paste in again. It's going to be play G for 0 0.5. Same again, play G for 0 0.5. And the last one's going to be playing G, but this time sleeping for one second. Okay, that's the next bit. Keep going. So the next one's going to be play uh, A for half a second and then C5 for the next one and then C5 again this time though we sleep for one second at the end okay so we've had these two new sections in we go G G G then A C5 C5 all right C5 is just a C chord but it's going up an octave so it's just a little bit higher than your usual uh, C note sorry let's have a listen That's sounding good. Now this next section we can actually copy and paste from here. It's the same as the first little bit. So I'm just going to highlight all of that from sleep one down to sleep one. Control C to copy. And then I'm just going to paste it in. Let's have a listen. Alright. I noticed a couple of little issues there. This sleep right here is not needed. So scrap it. And at the very end there, this sleep here should be 0 0.5. And then we can keep going with our song just to finish it off. Okay, so it's going to be whoop, play A. And we'll sleep for 0 0.5. I'm going to copy that and just cheat a little bit. Next one's going to be G. Oops. After G, we've got another G. And then we're back to A. Back to G. And the last one is F. Okay, you don't need to sleep for the last one either, so delete that half a beat sleep. Um, we'll have a listen to that, see if we've got the song working. Alright, 
sounds good. Just to finish off with, what I might do um, is put in a symbol. So I'm going to sample the sound of the drum symbol, and we'll choose the open symbol. Okay, another thing I'm going to do, just to build up the ending a little bit, you might have remembered it from the, um, the example that we played before. Before this last little section gets played, I'm just going to sample another sound. And this one is going to be a miscellaneous sound, so write M-I-S-C underscore cine boom. Okay, it's a bit like a boom at the end of the song. Um, let's have a listen. Alrighty. So that is Mary Had a Little Lamb jazzed up a bit with a few effects. That's all done. Make sure you hit the little save button at the top, and if you do want to record that, you can use the record feature in Sonic Pi there. That will do us for this tutorial.